Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another wear and tear on one of my bags. And this is one that you guys told me to update you with what was going on. And sorry, Odin's sitting right here. He's sick. He's got his skin problems are flaring up. So he's just sitting next to me. Anyway, this is one that you guys told me to update you with what was going on. So here we go. This one's going to be on my Palm Springs PM. This one makes me really sad because I really, really like this backpack. And I knew when I bought it that it could eventually have issues. And well, mine finally does. And um, I actually hadn't used it in a while. It had been sitting right there where you see that green. That's where it sits. And I hadn't used it in a while. I think last time I used it just for a day and I didn't even do much I think I just went to the gym and came home so I didn't do much at all but um yeah when I pulled it out last time I noticed that it had like a lot of white going on right here I, I won't be able to show you because my camera just doesn't my actual camera won't focus I can only seem to get my phone to focus but anyway I noticed that there was a lot of white going on there so I started looking up closer and everything and sure enough it's peeling even worse than it was and it's like all the flowers right here let's see it's this one this one's fine but it's this one this one and it's starting to do it here so it's it, I think it originally started on this one and, and it just is going further now um, and it's not like my zipper rubs against it. Sorry, the zipper's really not that bad, but um, whenever I close it, I said last time, because I did my the last wear and tear five months ago, and this was not nearly as bad, but I said in that one that I take care when I uh, um, open and close it, I'll push this down to close it, and then I will, you know, zip it up, and I have no problem. So it never actually rubs against there, and I'm not rough when I open it or anything, so it's not rubbing against that, so I don't know what's actually going on, because nothing is rubbing this bag. Um... It's not like that at all towards the bottoms either. It's just the top. And it's not like that on here either. But then, let's see. The corner of this one right here is starting to do it. You can see, obviously you can't see, but if you were to look up close, um, this little circle flower thing, the lighter of the brown is starting to peel off. This side, actually the dark brown regular canvas is starting to peel. And then... Let's see, the flower right here on the front, this is all peeling off. And the weird part is, like, pretend you take your fingernail, right? Which, I tested this on my other bag, so this is not something normal. Um, but you take your, if you take your fingernail and just, like, barely touch it, like, I'm not pushing hard. Like, when I was like, what is that? I just barely did this, and I mean, it just flakes off. Like, it just comes off. It's not like that there. It's doing it here, and it's not doing that in the back. So there's no reason it should just peel off. And I was talking to someone else that just, they have, she has the MM and she went and hers was deemed effective. So they gave her a new one and she got the new version with the zipper. But um, she's, you know, hers kind of started the same way, but hers obviously got worse a lot faster. But I don't know if she used it more. But anyway, yeah, she actually said that she feels like they never put the final glazing on the bag. And that totally makes sense. Like, because if you look at all the older bags or just whatever, like this doesn't happen, but it's like if there was an extra coat on there, you wouldn't be able to peel it off. So just like imagine that they didn't put the final coat on there, like things would peel off. I don't know, that just makes sense. Like that makes really good sense. It's like, what if for some reason on the backpacks they didn't put the same amount of coatings that they do on other bags? I don't know, because it is a coated canvas. But, um, yeah, so I don't really know what to do. Um, something else that started to happen, like I said before that these were kind of, you know, curling just a little bit, but I didn't care. That didn't bother me. That happened right away. Th that really didn't bother me. But, um, gosh, this is just so frustrating. On the back side here, like up right here, there is complete cracking on the glazing, like complete. Like if I bend it just a little bit, you can see white. Um, the other side here is, it's cracked, but you can't see anything underneath. But the fact that you can see, like, white under there is, like, I don't know what's under there. And then in the front, oh, you can see white up here in the front, too. Like, it's cracked up here, and you can see it there. Yeah, yeah, it gets cracked on every side. I'm so disappointed. I'm so tired of this. I'm tired of bitching about their quality. 
and I just don't get it. Like, it's such a great backpack. I love to use it. I just don't understand why it's wearing the way that it's wearing. I don't know. It's just so crappy. Like, when I was talking to her about it, the my friend on Instagram, it's just like, we buy them and we're just like waiting for something to happen. Like... I have inspected all my old bags and they have no issues. Like, I was telling her, you know, how I've had my Speedy 25 since 2004 and I used it so much and so hard that the handles are so dark. Like, it's my darkest bag and that canvas is perfect. There is no rubbing off anywhere. That thing is perfect. And then you've got this that is new. Let me just actually tell you what the date code is on this one just to show you how, old, how uh, new it is. I was going to say old, but that's not the right word. So the date code of this one is FL0129. So the second week of 2019. So this is not even a year old. And for those curious, because everyone seems to think that, that Made in France is the best, this is Made in France. So it's not lasting. Um, I did talk to an SA that's at Tennessee, and I know I'm like terrified to go there because when I had the Clapton and it had issues, they told me it was my fault. The guy that worked there, I don't know if he's still there, but I remember he said that it was the sharp edges of the Target bat or the Target basket that did it. So, and I left there just feeling like, you know, and I'm afraid to go there. But anyway, I did talk to an essay there. Um, a friend recommended him and she said that he was really great and he was really nice to talk to, but he was, he also said when I showed him pictures, he said that he's never seen that before. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. It makes me really afraid to go because when they say things like that, it makes me really nervous. And he did, they won't tell you over text messages whether it's defective or not. And I totally get that. But um, he was just kind of like, what are you looking for? Like, what do you want the outcome to be? Like, so, you know, you're not disappointed or whatever. And I kind of was like, well, you know, I don't know. I love my backpack, but what if I got another one? He was like, well, if it is defective, you would have a choice of credit to get something else or you could get the same bag. But he was like, but the thing is, if you get the same bag, it's a one-time thing. That's the part where it scares me because when he says it's a one-time thing, I was like, so, okay, so if I do that and I use it and the same thing happens again, they're not going to do anything. He said that's because it becomes a cycle. You know, people will bring it back and then they'll get another one. But in my mind, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense that they should take it back. It shouldn't be a one-time thing. I understand it's a cycle, but that's not our fault. That's the maker's fault. We're not asking for these issues. I wanted a backpack, literally, that I could take everywhere. I told you guys I wanted to have it because I want to take it to, like, Disney. And I want to take it when we go hiking. Like, I want to do all that stuff. And I want to take it to my daughter's games and practices because it's so practical to throw on my back. You know, I'm not the biggest crossbody person. So it's just, I don't need a ton of backpacks, just one. Like, this is all I need is just one. But I also wanted it to kind of be an everyday if that's how I want to use it. But I'm not asking for, I don't want something that's going to be messed up. Like, I don't want to keep using this and have, like, white exposed on this black leather handle. This was $2,000. $2,000. Like, let that sink in. $2,000. Like, that makes me sick for how much I wasted on this. But I really like it, so I hate to say wasted because I really like it, but when it's defective, it's wasted, right? Like, I could have used that on something else. Like, I could have used it, I don't know, on a new tattoo or a vacation. I don't know, but I chose to, to waste it on a backpack because it's adorable and I have issues and I buy things like backpacks. And for it to be messed up, it's just, it's just so frustrating and I don't know what to do. I showed my husband and he was like, well, you have two options. You can deal with it or you can get something else. He actually sent me a meme that was let it go. <laughs> Elsa doing the let it go. And I, w I told him, I was like, I know, but I love it. Am I not supposed to have a backpack? I mean, look what happened in my Clapton twice. The first one lasted a month, the second one lasted less than a week. And it was canvas issues. And it's like, here I am again with the backpack with canvas issues. And as much as I want to let it go, I'm having a hard time because 
if this gets worse, like what if they won't help me? And I never used to have these problems. Like I never had these problems. You can look at my freaking never full. Oh my gosh, guys. I took that to the beach. Like I did so much with that thing and it's in perfect condition. Perfect. But then again, that's when they first came out. So stuff was made good. Why are they changing their formulation for canvas? Like that, at least that's what I've been told by people is that they change the formulation. Why would they mess with something that's not broken? Like you used to be able to keep these bags to pass them down to your kids and it was just something awesome. And like, it's probably why they don't, people don't really travel with their tr trunks anymore because can you imagine if you spent thousands on a trunk, holy cow, and then it peeled off? I, I oh my God, those things are so expensive. Like they don't just don't seem to stand by their products as much anymore. Like if I take this back and I get another one, I should be guaranteed that if it happens again, hands down, no questions, you'll give me another one. Like I should be able to do it 10 times if I have to. You know, if you make the bag correctly, I wouldn't have to bring it back a single time. I'm not that freaking hard on it. It's just a backpack. Now what if I had like the MM or the, is there GM? I don't know, but if, what if I had the bigger ones and I was a school kid and I was one of those rich school kids that could take my books in it and stuff. Are they gonna stand by that? Because if this isn't gonna hold up to freaking purse stuff you carry around, you think it's gonna hold up to people carrying books in it? I don't think so. And it's a backpack. Backpacks are supposed to be like hardy, right? I don't know, now I'm just bitching. But I'm just really annoyed. I'm super annoyed. Um, I mean, besides that though, the interior of this has no issues. I don't see any issues on the strap. I mean, whenever you do fold it like this, I mentioned this when I first got it, that it's got white. And I thought that that was from sunblock, but it's not. It's all the way, it's on the inside, it's on the outside. It's just, I, I don't know. I don't know why that part never bothered me, but you know, besides that, I think that's the worst part is the canvas. And then the cracking on here, like the glazing has barely lasted. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I know that, God, it's so bad. I know that the new version is where the, it doesn't have this lip on it, but I did ask the guy that I was talking to, um, I asked him, well, does the new version, wouldn't that correct it? Isn't it to correct like, you know, the canvas peeling and stuff? And he said, the new version is to correct the zipper getting stuck in the canvas. So it's not like they changed anything on the canvas for those, they just changed the zipper placement to fix because it used to be where people would zip it up and the zipper would get stuck in it and it would just rip the canvas. So, I don't know, I'm really disappointed. Uh, it's my favorite brand, so it's really disappointing when their products don't last. Like, I want to be able to be really hard on it. I'm not going to, but I want to be able to and not have issues. I know when I'm gonna say I would like you guys opinion down below I still want you to give me your opinion on what you think I should do like should I just let it go should I get the exact same thing should I get something completely different um, I know you guys are probably gonna say take it back and get something else but what do you do when you just want a stupid backpack like you want a backpack like, someone told me we'll just carry a non luxury backpack yeah I mean I could Am I that much of a snob that I need Louis Vuitton? Oh my God. I don't know, I just love it. But I would like your opinions down below. Um, if you think it's completely stupid that I get the same one or that I let it go, let me know, that's fine. You can have the opinion that you think it'd be stupid to keep it. Like I honestly do want your opinion. I really do wanna know what everyone thinks. What would you do if it was yours? What if you spent $2,000 on a backpack? and it was doing what mine's doing. Also, I would love to know if you have this backpack or if you've had this backpack, if any of this had happened and what the outcome was afterwards. Because, I forgot, oh, I also forgot. I was also told that that is sometimes how canvas wears. That's part of the reason why I went to my other bags and I started like kind of scratching them just a little bit and it's not. I mean, I already knew that that was not true, but I had to do it anyway just to see if like, Maybe I'm missing something, but no, I wasn't. And I'm not gonna try to scratch this anymore. I just, you know, told you that I did it, what, down at the bottom or whatever, just to see, like, what the heck is that? But it's it's not normal. 
So I really do want you guys' opinion. So let me know. You don't have to call me an idiot, but if you think it's stupid, also let me know. Um, thank you for your opinion. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.